My name is Chinon Maria. My friends and students call me Chi Chi. It is wonderful to be here today to talk with all of you about art and, of course, murals. I am an artist who specializes in making murals, and I am also a teacher. So let's get down to the basics, though. Who here knows what a mural is? Hmm. Think for a moment, and I wonder if any of you have ever seen a mural or even painted a mural. Hmm. Some of you may know what a mural is, but for those of you who don't, a mural is a work of art that is painted directly on a wall or ceiling. Now that you know what a mural is, have you ever seen one in person? Here are a few beautiful examples of some very famous murals. As you can see from these examples, murals can be painted inside or outside. I paint murals both inside and outside, and some of my murals are very, very small, and some of my murals are very, very, very big. And some of my murals I paint way up high in the air, and I even need a machine to lift me up like 30 feet in the air. I paint murals in big cities and in small towns, but my favorite type of murals are the ones I paint with kids. I love to paint. I love the way art can transform a space from a blank wall to one filled with color and vibrancy. Murals can be used to convey important messages and to unite communities together and bring a sense of happiness and joy. I am sure you are interested in learning a bit more about me now. Just like you, I live in Vermont. I was born in Southern Vermont and also went to school here in Vermont. Since I can remember, I loved making art. When I was even younger than you, I began painting on the walls of my house. You can imagine my mom was not very pleased with me. But instead of telling me no, she redirected my efforts to draw on the walls of my playroom. So really my first mural began when I was around the age of three and lasted till we sold the house when I was in my late teens. All my friends could come over and paint and draw on the walls of our playroom too. It was amazing. I loved art since I can remember and I also know when I decided I wanted to be an artist. I was six years old and I visited the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. I walked into the museum and up on the wall was a huge painting that was bold and colorful and full of shapes. I saw that painting made by the artist Henri Matisse and I knew at that exact moment I wanted to make paintings that big too. His work awoke a fire within me to want to make art that could bring the same type of happiness his work brought to me. Have you ever seen a piece of artwork that you love that makes you feel excited or change, changes your emotion? It was in high school that I began painting more murals that were not on my playroom walls. I painted murals at my school and for a local library. And then I went to college to study fine art where I stopped making murals for some time. It was not until I graduated that I would get a full new schooling on murals. I moved to New York City and began working for a magazine. The magazine had me busy, busy, busy interviewing and meeting many artists, including many street artists who were making murals. Many of my new friends in New York City painted large murals on the side of buildings. Some of the work I saw I really loved, but some work I didn't like so much. I loved the work that felt it brought people together, work that the community around it appreciated art that made the community better by including them in making the art. Sadly, I did not see enough of that happening. 
that is when I decided I needed to pick up my paintbrushes again and start making murals for and with communities of people, with kids, with students, with people young and old, and bring the joy of painting to them. Share this experience that is so special. For the past 15 years, I have dedicated my life to the arts, making art with kids, making art in places that need to heal, and creating work to bring attention to important humanitarian causes. Many of my murals have bright colors, bold patterns, faces, and flowers. I've partnered with over 50 school, 5,000 kids, and painted murals throughout the United States, South America, and Europe. I've partnered with organizations and companies like the United Nations, Make-A-Wish Foundation, B Corporation, Rotary Club, the Port Authority of New York, Galleries Lafayette, Saks Fifth Avenue, Toyota, the Downtown Alliance of New York City, and so much more. I've been fortunate enough to have my work featured on TV shows, news channels, magazines, and newspapers. And lots of people love to photograph themselves in front of my work. Sometimes even a celebrity takes a photo in front of them. My husband and I were the resident artists of the World Trade Center in New York City for several years, where I completed over six public works of art throughout the campus where the 9-11 memorial is located. Our most beloved work was a painting and mural that was over 200 feet long that we painted with the community school children and celebrated the faces of refugee girls from all over the world. The mural is called One World Our Children. And you can actually still see the mural today if you visit the World Trade Center in New York City. It's one of the largest murals in all of Manhattan. I love that work because I had the opportunity to meet so many wonderful kids. And as I said earlier, I am the happiest painting when I can share the experience with kids just like you. And that brings me to why I'm here today. I am so lucky that soon we will be painting together a really, really big mural. And I don't think I could do it all alone. Big murals need a lot of hands to make them. And I think there are no better hands than yours to make this mural. I have designed a very special mural that celebrates pride, your mascot, the bears, and of course, Vermont. We will all get a chance to contribute and paint together and make something that you can all feel proud of and that will be part of your school for many, many years. I'm looking forward to meeting all of you in person very, very soon, and I can't wait to paint with each and every one of you. Thank you guys all so much. Have a great day and see you soon. Bye-bye.